Hey, what's up guys? It's Braden TCT and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be um, talking about the Morwith Gems event and also using it. So we're going to be talking about what you should buy up to and how it works. So the Morwith Gems event is this event over here. Uh, it's, it pretty much works with you spend gems and then the more gems you spend, the more rewards you get. So the cap is 25,000 gems. So it's the main rewards here are pretty much the gold sculptures um, and these sculptures too and also experience and uh, some speed ups can also be good but those are the main things that we are looking for when we get this. So I usually get this event um, for free to place it'll be harder for you to do you probably shouldn't you do this event because it costs lots of gems um, because like to get the really good rewards you have to get the 7000 gems. And um, so pretty much my recommendation for this event is that you should only spend up to 7,000 gems because that's pretty much where it's mainly worth it. And then the 25,000 gems, that's pretty much where you get the other worth. And 12,000 gems, it's not that much because it's only 8 Starlight Sculptures and 50,000 XP and just a tele targeted teleport and some sweet ups, which isn't worth 5,000 gems. So if you guys are going to get go past 7,000, then it would be go to... 25,000 gems. So, um, I'm going to be um, using, I'm going to be spending on this, my, my gems on this event. So, I have a lots of gems um, saved up. Um, I'm not like uh, the sponsor creators, I don't get free stuff. Um, I might do another video talking about that and my opinions on the situation with Roni and all the drama going on. But I don't want to get involved with that. Um, I first want to say I'm not a sponsor creator. And I actually feel really bad for my friends that are sponsored creators because they're getting a lot of hate right now for the things that um, they get through the game. And it's all because of Roni and his decisions. And I don't want to go too political with this, but um, yeah, we're just we're just spending gems, okay? But I just when I saw I want when you guys see my stuff, this isn't given by the game. And also, I only have a few that hundred subscribers, so why would they give me stuff? Um, so first, we're gonna use this that I got from Arc this morning. And, uh, uh, wait, um, so we're going to cash out 7,000 gems because that's all we want to spend to, um, let's do 13, let's see if that gets us today. That's got us overboard. So another thing with this event that I need to say is that this isn't that bad of, of that I accidentally went overboard because, um, it resets every day. So, um, uh, after I get 7,000 gems, I... It is, uh, you get to, it resets and then you can have to spend another 7,000 gems. So we're just going to spend this right here. Um, so we're going to spend, um, how should I do this? I'm just going to do five, see where we're at. Okay, so we're only at 2,000 right now. We should be able to max this out. This is probably the best thing that you can get from the VIP, in my opinion. And also, I need it for speeding up my research. That only needs a few more days. Um, how much do we need more? Um, just a couple thousand. Um, first, how much do we need for speed ups left? Actually, we don't need that many. I might be able to finish this tonight. Yeah, sure. Spend the rest of my stuff on speed up so I can finish it today. In this video, you guys get to see, which is pretty awesome. So, okay. How much do we have left? We haven't spent that much. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I kind of messed it up. Mm. Okay, so, but yeah, let's do five more. Uh, that should probably get us to there. There's left. And one more should do it. And there it is. Our five sculptures. I also got ten sculptures this morning from doing ARC. I streamed that. You guys can check out that live stream. I was really tired, so I didn't do a face cam for that. So, um... Uh, yeah, so that's... We pretty much bought this out, and as it says over here that it... it um, you get stuff based on how many gems you spent, and it resets every 24 hours. 
So um, I'll be able to do this again. So it's not lost that I accidentally overcached. So if you guys enjoyed this video about me talking about uh, the event and also me overall just spending gems, which is, I actually do enjoy that as well. Then make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe if you guys are new here because I make daily Rise of Kingdoms videos and also tips for this game so you guys can get daily tips. And um, uh, thank you so much for staying in to watch this video. And before we end this video, I just want to speed this up. I guess we're not going to be able to finish in this video. But if you guys did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like because... I already talked about this. Okay, well, pretty much just bye, guys. <laughs>